Here are the steps to bridge Bitcoin in the core mobile wallet. First, you'll want to make sure that you sent Bitcoin to your core mobile wallet. Click Bitcoin to make this the active network in the wallet, and then you can click and copy your Bitcoin wallet receive address. Once you've done this, input this into the exchange or wherever you're sending the Bitcoin from and send the Bitcoin to your wallet. Once received, it will reflect this balance in the Bitcoin network. After you've received the Bitcoin, click bridge in the bottom right hand corner. Here, you'll be able to input the amount of Bitcoin that you would like to bridge from the Bitcoin network to the Avalanche seed chain. In this instance, we're going to select the max amount. It will show you the transaction details for the bridge, and then you can click transfer and it will initiate the bridge process. Bridging Bitcoin will take six confirmations and on the transaction status page, it will show you the amount that's being sent, the network that it's being sent from, as well as the network fee. It will display the confirmations as well as the other transaction details. From here, if you'd like to hide the transaction status so that you can continue using your wallet, click hide in the upper right hand corner. This will tell you that your transaction is still processing and you can go to activity to see the current status if you'd like to check on it. Once you've gone back there, it will show you that there is a $0 Bitcoin balance. Do not be alarmed by that. Uh, this is because it's being bridged and once it's successfully bridged, it will reflect properly as it did before. If you'd like to check on the activity status for the bridge, click activity from the bottom menu. It will show you that the Bitcoin is bridging and that it's pending. You can click into that to get back to the transaction details page. After the Bitcoin has confirmed six confirmations, it will have moved from the Bitcoin network to the Avalanche seed chain. A notification will appear in your wallet showing you that the bridge was successful. It's important to note though that you cannot send BTCB to a regular Bitcoin receive address. In order for withdrawals to be made in Bitcoin, you will need to bridge the Bitcoin from the Avalanche C chain back to the Bitcoin network. This can all be done in the wallet super easily by clicking the bridge button again in the bottom right hand corner. And it's just the reverse process of what we just went through. So you'll select the BTCB amount. You'll bridge that from the Avalanche C chain to the Bitcoin network. Once that's complete, then you are able to withdraw the Bitcoin to an exchange. Please make sure that the address is compatible that you're withdrawing to. And if you have any additional questions, please reach out to support.avox.network and an AvaLabs team member would be happy to assist you.